Leave This Chanting and Singing by Rabindranath Tagore. In this song, the poet condemns the ascetic way of life and makes a forceful plea for participation in the daily activity of humble humanity. Leave this chanting and singing and telling of beads. Whom dost thou worship in this lonely dark corner of temple with doors all shut? Open thine eyes and see thy God is not before thee. The poet appeals to priests to stop chanting, singing and telling of beads because one cannot have the grace of God by simply confining oneself to the four walls of temple and performing no duty. He says that those people who are doing this should see that God is not before them. He is there where the tiller is tilling the hard ground and where the pathmaker is breaking stones. He is with them in sun and in shower and his garment is covered with dust. Put off thy holy mental and even like him, come down on the dusty soil. The poet says that God is to be found where duties are being performed, irrespective of scorching heat or rainy season. The poet uses the image of a farmer and path maker. He says that God lives with the humble and downtrodden tillers of the fields, the path makers who work hard at breaking stones. He lives in the company of those who toil in the sun and shower and whose clothes are soiled with dust. If the priest wants God, he must come out of his temple, give up his holy robes and work with the humble tillers of the soil in rain and sun. Tagore thus glorifies the humble life of labor and rejects the ascetic way of life. Deliverance? Where is this deliverance to be found? Our master himself has joyfully taken upon him the bonds of creation. He is bound with us all forever. So the poet says that we all remember Almighty day and night in order to get deliverance. We all want to be delivered from this world to the next without any pain. He says that God himself has taken the task of creation of this earth and its objects. God himself is bound to all of us in chains of love. Then why do we people want to get rid of the cycle of rebirth? Deliverance is a mere illusion. The ascetic should accept life and perform the humble duties of life with his fellow men. Come out of thy meditations and leave aside thy flowers and incense. What harm is there if thy clothes become tattered and stained? Meet him and stand by him in toil and in sweat of thy brow. So this is the last tense of the poem. The poet says worshipping in the secluded corner of a temple is futile. Offering of incense and flowers are equally vain. This have no purpose. God is to be found with the poor and the humble, who earn their bread with the sweat of their brow. It does not matter if one's clothes grow torn, shabby, through working in the fields. For God loves the human tiller, despite their dirty and tattered dress. Participation in the activity of life is essential for God-realization. Thus, Tagore differs from other mystics. He advocates acceptance of life and its activities and not a rejection of it. That's all for today's video.